this video, I'm going to go over what could very possibly be the best bunch money play in Madden 22 right now. Now, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we are in the Washington football team's offensive playbook. We're going to be talking today about the gun bunch formation. Now, if you want to learn my entire uh, gun bunch offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership in the description below. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get instant access to every ebook that I have released so far uh, in the Madden 22 season and every ebook that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. It's only uh, 10 bucks a month and you can cancel whenever you would like, but it's just a great way in my opinion to be able to get better at the game. So if you enjoy the video and you want to get your take your game to the next level, be sure to check out that Patreon at the link in the description. The uh, play that we're going to be going over in this video is the clear out FLM. This is one of the most underrated plays in Madden this year and the my main reason why is because this play was previously patched, um, used to be a very good cover three bomb, and Madden patched it this year, kind of just like they patched it last year, um, but it's still very good for a lot of different reasons, and we're going to go over a couple of those in this video. Now, the first thing that I want to go over is this is a really good cover two bomb to the short side of the field. So if you come out to the bunch with your bunch on the right hash mark and they are running uh, some type of Tampa two, it could be Tampa two, it could also be cover four show two with a deep half. Uh, what you're going to notice here is we're just going to put the circle receiver on a corner route. Um, and then whatever you want to do with the running back, I oftentimes will just simply block the running back on this play. Um, but what you're going to see is against the cover two, um, you're going to be able to pass lead this to the right. And as you can see right there, you're going to have a really good chance at hitting that. Um, Brady doesn't have Gunslinger. If you have Gunslinger on that throw, um, that's going to be a little bit better. He is getting bumped, which he typically won't get bumped. So I'm just going to move this guy out of the way just to try to illustrate what it would look like um, if that receiver did not get pressed off of the line of scrimmage because if they're setting their zone drops or if they're um, doing kind of what most people would do in this situation, you're not going to have that issue. And I guess he still does get bumped. But anyways, what you're going to see here, if you pass lead this to the right, as you can see against the cover two, most of the time you're going to be able to hit that uh, little swerve catch and you're going to be able to get in the end zone for a touchdown. Now, the other reason that I like this concept is not only what it does to cover two, but what it does to cover four drop. So um, with cover four drop, if I were to run this to the wide side of the field, uh, what you're going to notice here, especially if they're running kind of a traditional cover four drop style approach to defense, what you're going to see here is it's R1 receiver. Um, for the most part, if you have a fast receiver and you can really get this ball out there, you're going to be able to bomb cover four drop over the top as well. You just have to be on the opposite side hash mark. Now, one thing I didn't go over when I was on the other side of the field that I wanted to kind of touch on is one of the more popular ways that people like to run match defense, specifically against Gun Bunch, um, is they're going to basically take this safety right here, Phillips, and they're going to put him into a deep half. So as you can see right here, I've got that guy in a deep half, and then I'm going to run my match coverage. And what you're going to notice whenever I put that deep half out there is this is going to play very similarly to the cover two. As you can see, if I fade that, pass lead that over to the right side, I'm going to be able to get over to the match uh, on that hash mark or on that side of the field. So as you can see, I'm able to beat cover four drop. I'm able to beat cover two. I'm able to beat cover four quarters. And now I want to show you um, a really, really good concept specifically for uh, the Mike Blitz 3 meta Mabel coverage. And this is a very good cover three beater. It's not exactly a cover three button. Um, but it is a consistent read that you can make against cover three that is really good. So uh, we're going to run the exact same adjustments. And what you're going to notice on this play is this route to the tight end is going to basically get inside leverage and you can click on and cut this ball off if they are in a cover three style of zone defense. As you can see right there, I'm able to just simply click on and cut him off. So what that's going to mean is that most of the time, the way that your opponent is going to kind of counter that adjustment is they're going to user the tight end up the middle of the field. Where this is problematic for them is now what we can do is run a couple different route combinations. For example, you could put your running back on a streak or a little in route. Um, but the route that I want to focus in on is this uh, corner route to circle. You're going to see if I pass lead that to the right, that's going to basically be open against pretty much every coverage in the entire game. And so within this one play, you now have the ability to basically beat every single coverage, um, even though, you know, even though to a degree, you're not going to be able to beat every coverage the way you want to, uh, as far as like a one play touchdown, you're still able to really consistently manipulate coverages 
uh, like that. Now, another thing that I wanted to kind of hit on real, real, real briefly here is let's say, for example, that your opponent is running kind of some man coverage. Man coverage is starting to increase in popularity. Um, what you're going to see is this little uh, route to Mike Evans is one of the best little uh, potential man bombs in the game as you can see right there he kind of toasts his man and then I can throw that with an outside pass lead so this play still has a lot of power in it even though the one play touchdown on the right side of the field is kind of over um, you're still going to be able to manipulate pretty much every coverage in the game one of the things I really like is how this uh, play does against the cover three you're going to notice that if it's stock cover three the hook curl defender will get on him um, what I like to do in that situation is, you know, obviously you could just hit the underneath. Um, you know, if you if you put, you know, really what you could do with this to make it real simple is you could take that running back and just put him on a Texas route or put him on like an option route. And what you're going to notice is against a cover three type of situation like that, now you've got something over here that's going to have to hold. And if they follow that tight end, I can easily check it down to the back and get, you know, several, several yards. Um, even if you wanted to put the running back on an out route, um, or an in route something like that would be fine and uh, as you can see now you've got a high low on the right between that out route or that in route to the back in that corner route so if it's a five out setup um, this is one of my favorite plays but you know and, and then one last thing I wanted to hit on is a cover uh, like a cover three style hard flat style of blitzing uh, play uh, what you're gonna be able to do with this play let's say they send heavy pressure at you uh, what you can do oftentimes is their user is going to get so far down, they're not going to be able to make a play on that ball to the tight end. Um, and then if they are running, you know, if they are running uh, some type of hard flat style approach to defense, um, obviously you've got your running back that you can use in a route or you can try to pick it up with your running back. And then what you're going to notice here is this corner route right by the time the pressure is coming in, I'm able to deliver that read. So really the read, especially if it's a cover three shell, you're looking to either your tight end or your corner route. If it's a cover two shell on the short side, you're going to look to that fade. If it's a cover four shell on the wide side, you're going to look to the fade. Uh, but as you can see, this play's got a lot of power still in it, and it's something that you can really use to beat every coverage in this game. Now, like I said, if you want to learn the rest of the gun bunch, or if you're just looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I would really encourage you to sign up for my Patreon membership. It's just 10 bucks a month, and for just $10 a month, you're going to get immediate access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks. I've got 12 eBooks um, on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. We've got current gen eBooks in there. We've got next gen eBooks in there. We've got um, a brand new defense that we're going to be adding. Uh, a lot of our eBooks, we from time to time as new patches come out, we update them as well. So if you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description below. You can sign up and get access to everything for just 10 bucks a month. And you can cancel whenever you'd like. You don't have to stay signed up for a year. As soon as you sign up, you're getting access to everything.